Hello everyone and welcome back to the dork side. I'm the dork on the road and today we're putting some quad lock goodies on motorcycles. Thanks for clicking on the video. Our friends at Quadlock have been generous enough to sponsor a giveaway. We're going to be giving away a phone case, a mount, and a vibration dampener. So make sure you watch to the end of the video to find out how you can enter to win a free full Quadlock setup. Now back to the video. I am the dork in the road and I want to be your internet riding buddy. So please consider subscribing. Don't forget to turn on those notifications. So for those of you not familiar with the quad lock system, here's just a really quick overview. So it's the system has two parts. The first is a case for your phone. It's a custom case for each phone. And uh, the essential part of the case is this mount on the back of the phone. So these are very sturdy cases. I've dropped mine a bunch of times. It's always held up. I've had one on my other phone, my previous phone for three years. No problems. This quad lock system as you can see there's four points you stick it on the mount and just twist it and it's locked in and you can take it on and off with one hand i'll show you so the mount is here and you just put your phone on it and snap it in and it's super sturdy like i can move my bike with this and taking it off is easy you just push the tab and take it off i'm a huge fan of this mount setup like i said i've been using it for three years i've crashed i don't know how many times my phone has never come off i'm on and off my bike a lot taking pictures for instagram and stuff and so it's really cool to me to have a mount that i can take on and off with one hand that i know is super secure so quad lock was cool enough to send me out some upgrades and additional accessories to add to my mount setup so we're going to go through a couple of those today the first thing was this is the ring stand so this actually you just pop into the lock on the back and then it's a it's a cooler version of a pop socket for holding your phone but it also is a phone stand so that's a cool little accessory and it comes with a carabiner for your keychain so you can just pop it off put it on your keychain that's pretty neat and here on the drz we're going to add the vibration dampener so the elephant in the room when you talk about mounting phones to your handlebars especially modern phones is that they have optical stabilization and the vibration of the handlebars can sometimes break those mechanisms it's a pretty common problem with iphones and some android phones and so quad lock solution to that is the vibration dampener which i will show you so this sweet baby right here goes on top of the mount and it's uh got vibration absorption powers which will keep your phone from vibrating and breaking your camera so we're going to put that on the drz because nothing vibrates more than a drz and we're also going to add the weatherproof wireless charging head which means that anytime i'm riding with my phone on the handlebars it'll be charging without having to plug anything into the bottom it's an induction charger and this is weatherproof so i can do it in the weather uh, and you're probably thinking to yourself how are you going to put your phone on the handlebars in the weather well I also got a poncho from quad lock that will make my phone waterproof on the bars i'll show you so it's just like a like a plastic cover like a phone condom but you put it on over your phone like that and uh it's totally waterproof all the ports are covered the cameras are covered and this way if you were using your phone to navigate or something on your handlebars you could still use it in the rain so kind of a slick little setup not like something you'd want to do all the time but in a pinch i think it would work so i'm going to put the vibration dampener and the charging head on the drz let's do that it's supposed to be pretty straightforward so i just take this top part off and i'll put the vibration dampener on over it this is the ball mount that goes into any ram mount i really like this setup the best for the quad lock so i'm down to just just this vibration dampener comes next conveniently this goes down into this and tightens it down you see this oh it's it's free to move so but it's solid underneath. Okay, and then the charging head comes with a longer screw. I'm going off the top, let's go up this way. That makes more sense. Yeah, that's good. Okay, you can see that. Tighten it down. This thing is kind of massive, but the charging benefits will be pretty badass, I think. So instead of a, a lever, you push the back down like that to get it charging. Okay, that's mounted. And the last thing to do here is just you just run this USB cable to your existing USB charger on the bike, which I already have one on the DRZ. So let's do that. Plugs in the back here, waterproof, and then my charger's right here. Okay, the only thing left to do is power up the bike and see if this charges. Put my phone on there. Oh man, it's even easier. Right there, right there, my phone is charging. See right there in the corner, my phone is totally charging and it is on there completely, not plugged in. All right, well now that the DRZ is all situated, we're gonna add this USB charger and this vibration dampener to the Grom. I already have a quad lock mount on it, 
so this will just be an enhancement. I'd like to say it's only for all the awesome, amazing, fun, super badass adventures we're gonna have in the woods, and that's part of it, but it's also so that when I ride around playing Pokemon Go on this thing, my phone will stay charged and be easy to get to, because the Grom is the perfect Pokemon Go vehicle, and this charger in particular is gonna make it way awesomer. So the vibration dampener is not any different than before, so I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time on that, but this USB charger is pretty cool. We have to run it to the battery, like any old USB charger, but it's fully waterproof so it can get wet uh, without it being a concern. The only instruction it has is to make sure it's kind of pointed down so water doesn't pool in there, but it can totally handle the waterproofing unless you submerge it. So that's pretty cool. So you don't have to worry about taking it off or covering it up in the rain. I'm gonna have to run this cable to my battery and then figure out a way to run it under the fairing here on the Grom. So that's what we're gonna do next. Ta-da! I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to take this fairing off, which means my bag's gonna have to come off. As you know, I'm intimately familiar with the, with all these fairings from taking every one of them off when I was taking the vinyl off this bike when I first got it. Check out that video. You can just feed all this through and just put it back behind like this. Oh, there we go. That's much easier when the fairing just comes all the way off. I'm gonna have to restart, reset the clock again. <sighs> Okay, and we want this to go where? Underneath, maybe? Oh, halfway. Oh yeah, we got it, bro. All right, great, right there it is. Okay, cool, well that's all set up, so I'm gonna put the charger on so I know how much slack to take out of it. So first I gotta take the quad lock top off. This one also came with an Allen key, convenient. And just like before, we're gonna put the vibration dampener on first. So that just goes on your regular mount, which I've already installed. Pretty straightforward, so I didn't feel the need to take it off and then put it back on for the video. I like how the system's kind of modular, so you can add the different levels as you see fit. What do you think? Up or down? Like that, I don't like how the cable wraps around. I think it's cleaner this way. And then just the cable on my phone will have to wrap around in a weird way. Replacing the default short screw that comes with the quad lock with the longer one that comes with the charger, because it screws down through the charger. And that's what holds the charger in place. And I'll just tighten this down. It should work. In fact, I maybe want the cable up. All right, I'm gonna flip this over. Like, changing it out is as simple as this. Better for the water drainage, and uh, makes more sense in terms of cable routing, I think. Put the mount back on. So I can already hear some of you saying you need to put that on switch power and there's no fuse. I'm concerned about both those things, but that's something to worry about for later. I just wanted to get the setup figured out now. So I'm gonna put the seat back on. I ran all the, the extra slack is here. The fairing's all closed up. The mount is on, as you can see. I ran the cable and zip tied it down. The extra cable is inside underneath the seat. Everything's good, real cleaned up. Let me just show you how the setup works. So the charger port is here, right underneath my phone mount, which is super useful. So I just plug a cable into it. It's always the wrong way. And then you put your phone on the mount, easy as this, and plug it in. Oh, it's actually charging right now. So it's already charging. It's draining my battery right now, so I'm not gonna do it all day, but you can see it's charging. Excellent. So everything's set up properly. Pretty excited to have full quad lock charging setups on both of these bikes. Like I said before, I love the quad lock setup. Easy on and off and very secure, so it's a good setup. I'll put links to everything in this video in the description. Check them out if you're interested. I legitimately think it's the best mount setup out there. But thank you for watching, and please do not forget to be excellent to each other. I thank you. You did it! You made it to the end! It's time for me to tell you how you can enter to win a quad lock setup of your very own. So if you want to win a quad lock case for your specific phone, a vibration dampener, and a motorcycle handlebar mount, this is all you have to do to enter. You have to go over to my Instagram, that is a dork in the road on Instagram, and there'll be there's a post there about the contest. And all you have to do is tag someone in the comments of that post to be entered to win. We're also gonna do two giveaways here because one of the giveaways for my 20,000 subscriber live stream went unclaimed. So I'm also gonna give away one free t-shirt from my merch store of your choice. When you go over to the Instagram post and comment by tagging somebody who should also enter the contest, you enter to win both of those prizes and I will pick two winners. Worth mentioning that you will have to give me some personal information in order for us to ship you your prizes. Just make sure you're willing to 
fork over your address before you enter. Good luck in the contest. It's going to go for two weeks from the date of this video and we'll pick a winner and announce it on Instagram and I'll contact the winners directly. Thank you for watching and please do not forget to be excellent to each other. I thank you. Excellent!